Welcome back to Farinheim. The anime's world info is in our hands. Top 10 Most Legendary Showcase of Power in Anime I think everyone here knows that some of the anime scenes or moments always stack in our minds because we can't forget that amazing moment. This is the part one of Legendary Showcase of Power in Anime Ever. Fate, the fight between Saber and Raider. The fight between Saber and Ryder in Fate. Heaven's Feel movie is one of the most iconic fights ever to happen in the anime world. Animate the fight may cost more than one year of my salary and it happens before the last fight. Shiro needs to join hands with Ryder to beat Dark Saber. Saber is the strongest servant ever. The fight was outstanding, and I think one of the best fights in animations that ever animated. Ah, yes! Asta and Yami fight Dante Dark Triad is one of the hardest enemies that Asta ever faced. The king of the Dark Triad is Dante. The three of them are possessed by the evil demon. Yami almost lost his life in this fight. Good things is to make a devil with the demon inside his body, so they can fight Dante. Dante transforms into something so evil, using full power to destroy them. But lucky in the last one second, Yami threw his sword into Asta, and Asta used it to slash Dante. Ayana Koji the most genius ever. Ayana Koji is one of the geniuses in the anime world. This is not a fist fight or even a fight with glorious or super effect in CG. This is just a fight he won by using his genius brain. Slash that he uses against Kaido looks super duper amazing. Very, very- Young guy with a super IQ who doesn't want to look good in front of other people in this elite school. Ryuan from class C trying to destroy class D where Ayana Koji is. But these super smart guys outsmarted Ryuan and already a few step ahead of him. Ryuan even miscalculated Ayana Koji. They thought they could win him by gang him. But the result is the opposite. Uh. Claymore 4 against 1 still can't beat Teresa. Teresa is the strongest Claymore in this anime. She is trying to break the rule of the clan because she is trying to save a little who almost got eaten by a monster. So the clan sends the top 5 strongest Claymores to kill her. But Teresa was just too strong for them. Between that top strongest Claymore, there is one Claymore that almost matches Teresa, but Teresa doesn't even use her monster power to fight them. Thy siblings quarrel, Fire Force. First, let's talk about the anime. The anime is considered one of the anime with the best graphics and has marvelous animation. The fight between siblings happens when Shinra, who has a special grade fire, meets his lost little brother. He thinks that his brother and mummy died after the fire burst in his house. Unfortunately, his little brother sided with the enemies because he was raised by the enemies. Normal people can't even see their fight cause. They were so fast. So fast that they can even stop the time. Quetzal Coatl versus Tiamat. The goddess war in this fate series was so amazing. While Tiamat, one of the queen in this servant's world, tried to destroy the world. Quetzal Coatl, who has the sun power, uses all of the energy in this last move. The movie is super duper amazing. Even the animation looks super incredible. Even when she uses her last skill Patada, she still can't kill Tiamat. Finally, after all the goddesses join force. Patada! 
Natero versus the Ant King. This fight is one of the craziest fights in the Hunter x Hunter anime. Natero was the strongest man in the world. He was even stronger than Killua's grandfather at that time. In this fight, the king actually wants to talk and learn about the human world. After he met a fragile blind woman who he couldn't beat in a chess match. But Natero focused on trying to kill the Ant Prince. Finally, the super fight begins. But the Ant Prince was too strong for Natero. He even uses his last move by exploding himself and poisoning the king with the bomb in his heart. Even after that big bombing mode, the king is still alive. <coughs> Jujutsu Kaisen Gojo vs Toji Wo. Finally, the last part of this update. Who knows that our hero can bleed also? Not just bleed, but almost dead by someone who doesn't even have a cursed power. Toji, an event without cursed power, is so powerful. Toji, who is the biological father of Fushiguro, is a super powerful man who can even make our hero Gojo look powerless. The fight makes Gojo see the world differently. Gojo rages after he finds out that the girl he tried to save got killed by Toji. Gojo uses his super strong moves, but Toji still can't evade with his super speed. They even have a second round fight. Here is where Gojo puts Toji in peace with a big hole in his body. Well, there is still no one that can beat our cool brother in this anime. Kaido and Big Mom vs the super crazy pirates Luffy, Law and Kid. I know all of you think why not when Luffy turns into Mika, but in my opinion, that fight really looks more like a cartoon than a Japanese anime. The fight between the Yonko and the super pirates is amazing. The effect in a few episodes looks like a box office animation instead of a series. Even Zoro joined. The slash that he uses against Kaido looks super duper amazing. Very, very cool. And they have a stupid funny moment while the three of them trying to show off who can stand still after receiving a big mum attack. That's for today's update. I know you guys have a lot more suggestions and I am pretty sure we have the same opinion. Today's update is just one of the top 10 showcases. I will come back with more. Please comment down below if you have more suggestions. See you guys and take care.